Hello friends, my name is Paresh and what you see on your screen is Business Central. Today we are going to discuss about recurring journals in Business Central. So as the name suggests, recurring journals in Business Central is used uh, to post transactions that reoccur with few or actually no changes to GL, bank, customer or fixed SS accounts. Now, a lot of companies use uh, recurring journals for their payroll. However, there are many other uses for recurring journals. So to access uh, recurring journal journals in Business Central, click on Finance. Click on Recurring Journal Journal. And over here, as you can see that I have set up various batches such as uh, NAP, which is the bill that I get every month, uh, where there are various expenses that I tend to process via NAP credit card. I've also got a payroll journal, which is processed weekly. And then I have some uh, utilities badges set up for utilities uh, that need to be paid at first of each month and the utilities that um, need to be paid in the middle of the month. Um, so for now, let us open the NAB uh, journal. So basically what I have done is that I've defined a recurring journal and I have selected a recurring method as a variable uh, because I know that I get this bill every month but the bill varies as, let's say, opposed to um, a lease or a car loan where the amount is actually fixed. So if you had something like a lease uh, or a car loan, uh, which had a fixed amount every month, you would have selected a recurring method of fixed and you would have put a dollar amount over here, which would stay there. However, in this case, since the amount is variable, it means that after I post it, the system zeroes the amount again so that I am prompted to fill in every month. Now you have other options such as balance. So whatever is the balance at that date. And then you have reversing fixed and reversing variable. They work in the same way, but they create a reversing entry the next day. So it's handy for um, month ends when you are trying to do your accurals so you post uh, at the last day of the month and the reversing entry takes place at the first of the next month and as you can see over here the recurring frequency that i've selected is 1m which means one month the document type that i've selected is invoice and in the document number you will notice that apart from normal text i have used a code percent four which will actually get replaced with the name of the month I have got the account type as vendor and hence the relevant account number is selected which is the vendor national australian bank in this case so now i specify the amount uh, so if i get an invoice from my vendor i put uh, that as a credit let's say minus um thousand and then I go to each of the expense accounts and put in the dollar amount for that expense. At the end, the debits must equal the credits, uh, which I can track by the total balance field over here. So let's just say I put in some expenses over here, $100, 200, 300, and then at the end, 400. So now since my total balance is zero, this batch is now ready to post. So what I will do is click on process and click on post. Do you want to post the journal lines? So the journal lines were successfully posted. Click on OK. So when you use the recurring method as variable, the posting date changes based on the recurring frequency and the amount gets reset to zero. Now what we can do is we can navigate to ledger entries to check more details. In the ledger entries, you will see that the entry is posted on the same posting date. And uh, in the document number, you will notice that the description where I had used the code person four is now replaced with the name of the month. And the amount is posted under the ocean amount. Now let's go to a different template, the payroll template and quickly edit the template. Here you will see that I've already uh, set up some lines. It's all the same. The difference is that instead of vendor account over here, I'm using a bank account. As you can see, the recurring method is variable. The recurring frequency in this case is one week. We have our posting date. We do not need document type because all the transaction is direct uh, posted to GL. 
in the document number you will see that I have used another code called percent two which actually will be replaced by the number of week in uh, in that year we have the account type account number the description and the various amounts that we need to post as you can see the total balance is zero so the patch is um, ready to post so what I can do is click on process click on post do you want to post the journal lines yes and the journal lines were successfully posted click on OK and as you can see all the amounts are reset to zero and the posting date based on the recurring, recurring frequency has been rolled over so let's go to the next batch which is week one utility and uh, batch let's edit that now here you'll notice that it is a little different um, I have postage and phone bills which are variable in nature because I have to pay that every month but I do not know what the amount would be however there's a third line which says that I have to pay the lease of five thousand dollars every month so there's a fixed amount so I can just mention the amount over here and leave it there as it is uh, an interesting fact is that with the fixed amount you can always specify the expiration date so I say that okay uh, my lease will uh, is due to expire by the end of uh, this year and if you go to the allocated amount which is quite interesting you will notice that I have allocated 100% of the amount to the lease GL account in this case I could break it up as well well the reason is that it's quite useful um, when the year end is up and the lease changes all I need to do is just change the amount over here and then um, the rest allocations will be taken care of by the system as per my setup now for the phone let's say we receive um, an amount of $200 and if I go to my allocated amount now you will notice that I have an expense account for my phone which I have repeated here again and again however I have divided that into different departments say sales administration and production and for each department I have specified an allocation percentage so let's say 80% for sales 15% for administration and 5% to production so whatever amount I specify it will be split according to this percentage uh, which you can see over here it's 160 30 and 10 respectively similarly um, I can specify an amount over here for uh, postage and I receive $50 and if I go to the allocated amount again you can see that I have used a uh, expense account for the postage and I have just specified one department administration and I have allocated 100% to the postage expense account so those are nice to have set up in advance and you do not need to retype things over and over again uh, the system will post to the vendor accounts and next time when you do a uh, run check um, those transactions will pop up as items that are needed to be paid so all I need to do is click on process click on post do you want to post the journal lines yes the journal lines were successfully posted okay and as you can see the posting date has moved forward based on the recurring uh, duration that we have selected and the fixed amount is as it is and the variable amounts are reset to zero so that's it for recurring journals why don't you go ahead and try it out for yourself i hope you liked the video please feel free to give it a like or share your comments and hit the subscribe button for more updates bye bye